In technical interviews, sometimes you face unexpected questions from the interviewer or sometimes they ask very difficult questions. You have no idea about the answer, means you are completely clueless, you haven't heard about that term before, right? But sometimes they ask easy questions, you know the answer, but how you answer those questions, that thing also matters here, right? So that's exactly I want to discuss in this video, how to give answer of those questions that are being asked in technical round of the interview. Because in technical round, basically they test your subject knowledge, means core computer science subject knowledge, if you are a computer science student, right? So, how you answer those questions, that thing also matters. So, I am going to tell you the most important tips to answer the questions. But before that, just want to tell you one thing for those who are preparing for GATE 2021, an academy has introduced a 50 days PYQ festival for GATE 2021. Here, you can boost your preparation by solving last three years question papers with the top educators at an academy. And in these classes, you can clear your doubts. And this has already been started from 5th of November. And these classes would be for, for all the branches like mechanical, civil, computer science. You can see the details over here. And in these classes, detailed discussion would be there on the previous year question paper uh, of this particular subject. Like on this day, uh, this in this class, detailed discussion on previous year question paper of the subject DBMS on some another day detailed discussion on the previous year question paper of the subject TOC, maybe computer networks like this. So they will teach you how to solve uh, these questions, the best possible steps, the best strategy to solve these kind of questions so that you can quickly solve those questions in your actual exam. See solving previous year question paper is also very important with your preparation. So if you are interested, you can go for it. You can attend these classes. These are completely free. You don't need to pay anything to attend these classes. So if you are interested, all the details and the link I'll provide you in the description box of this video, you can go and check out. So now let us discuss the most important tips to answer the question in technical round. Very first thing is what? Make sure you understand the question first rather, rather than start answering that question. Sometimes it happens, the interviewer asked a question but you didn't get the question. It is unambiguous, it is not clear to you. But you start answering that question or maybe you misinterpret the question, so you misinterpret some terms from that question and you start answering that question. So definitely or maybe it happens that your answer would be uh, wrong, you are going in wrong direction. That's not exactly the interviewer wants, that is not the answer. So first of all understand the question first, ask question to the interviewer to clear your doubts. Understand what exactly the interviewer is asking. Sometimes intentionally interviewer ask some unambiguous questions, right? Because they want you to ask question to clear your doubts. They want to check how intelligently you ask questions, whether you are able to clear your doubts or you just start answering the question even if the question is not, you know, uh, unambiguous or the, que the question is not clear. So make sure you understand the question first. See, if you clear your doubts by asking questions, then it will create a good impression, right? They think, interviewer think that, yeah, you have some knowledge about that concept. That is why you are asking some questions, right? So second mistake is what, or second tip is what? Once you get the question, but before answering, you need to take care your answer is to the point. Interviewer wants to the point answer, short answer, brief answer, sweet answer. They don't want a lengthy story. It's not like that you start from the origin, like first of all this, then this, then this. Maybe sometimes it happens uh, before reaching to the main point of that question or, or that answer, the interviewer stops you and asks another question. So rather than telling a lengthy story, just answer to the point. And suppose if uh, they want more detail, then they'll ask you and you can tell at that time more details. After that, third tip is what? Do not give bookish answers. Sometimes from a fresher, they ask simple question like, uh, for example, they ask what is encapsulation? What you say? Wrapping up of data and function in a single unit is called encapsulation. That's it. No, that's not a good approach to answer the questions. That is just what it's written in the book and you have read that line. You have to give some examples. Or if you are, uh, if you are giving the answer like bookish answer, then try to relate that answer, try to justify your answer with some maybe real life examples or with some more examples. 
they prefer you to give answer in your own language what you have understood from that book and just give answer in your own language don't just copy the answer which is written in that book right next step is what do not pretend that you know everything sometimes they ask these type of questions you have no idea you are completely clueless so it's better to say i'm sorry sir i'm not familiar with this term or maybe i'm not familiar with this term but i'm familiar with this skill so if you want i can put my views in this context like this rather than bluffing if you don't know the answer but you start answering the question matlab illogically sometimes it happens you don't know the answer you are completely clueless you haven't heard about that term but you start answering that question even the answer is what illogical it's irrelevant you are using some buzzwords and maybe they will do some cross questioning and you will get caught so rather than doing this thing be honest they always want to hire honest people like i don't know the answer i'm not familiar with this see in an interview it is not necessary that you know answer of all the questions they ask but the important thing is what how well you answer those questions you know you have the knowledge about those questions how well you answer those questions that thing also matters here right and fifth is communicate with the interviewer while answering the question maybe they have asked like write down this function to do so write down this logic and you take what you you say what i need 5 minutes and silently you are thinking the logic and then you start writing maybe after 5 minutes but that is not a good approach that is not right way you don't have to be silent at that time you have to think loud like you can communicate with the interviewer how how you are going to write down the logic or the function maybe you are going in wrong wrong direction so they'll give some hint like do so or do so or use this keyword or use this and that so the interviewer know your progress yeah you are thinking you are going in right direction maybe sometimes you are going in right direction or maybe sometimes you go in wrong direction then the interviewer will help you so that you can move in the right direction right but if you do like silently you are thinking for 5 minutes and then let's start writing code then interviewer say first of all describe your solution maybe sometimes they can say this right so don't think silently think loud communicate with the interviewer while you are thinking that is a good approach to answer any question because when you communicate while answering the question it shows that yeah you have good communication skills they can also test one more point like your communication skills are good so that would be good for you so these are some simple yet effective tips so that's it for this video now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care